Salutations and welcome to the farm. Happy New Year. It is a cold and chilly day here on the farm. Papa Jim and I, we've been tackling some things here around the farm, including fixing our pellet stove. So we'll have a couple videos on pellet stove maintenance and some of the things that we've done here today. But after this cold day, I think it's the perfect time to make up a pot of soup. So it's the beginning of the year and every year we have New Year's resolutions. It's the perfect time to make up a big batch of peel and pound soup. It's very simple, it's very good, and this is how it works. Once we get this put together, we're gonna keep this pot in the fridge. Whenever you're hungry, just warm up a bowl of soup, eat it, and I know that I used to do this from time to time. It's good for taking off five or 10 pounds. It's a nice way to start the year when you start those New Year's resolutions. So what I'm going to start with is I have a half a head of just finely chopped cabbage. Now before I put my vegetables in, I do want to tell you I'm making a vegetarian peel of pound soup. If you'd like to have some extra protein in your peel of pound soup, what I would suggest you do is get some chicken breasts, cover them with water in your pot and just boil them until they are able to be pulled apart with a fork and shred them. Then you're gonna add a head of chopped cabbage and then we're gonna add some other vegetables that I've already got cut up. I have a zucchini cut up, I have some broccoli, cauliflower, um, any kind of vegetable that you wanna put in here that is not a sugary vegetable, you don't want the starchy vegetables. This is how this is gonna help you lose some of that weight. No potatoes, no corn. I've got a couple of carrots here just because it was in a stir fry blend that I had in the fridge that we're gonna go ahead and add to our soup. And I am gonna put one onion in, but again, no potatoes, no corn, just nice veggies. And this is just gonna be chock full of that veggie goodness. Now, out of the freezer, I do have some bags of green beans that were fresh out of the garden. I blanched them and froze them. So those are gonna go in. I'm also gonna put in some diced tomatoes. And I have some better than bouillon. And I'm just gonna add that. That is what we're gonna put in instead of putting any other uh, type of bouillon or anything. And we'll add more water so all of this is covered but I'm also gonna put in a big can of tomato juice. And then we're just gonna keep adding to this pot until I have everything put in. You can add some garlic, some seasonings to it. Season it up any way that you like. The main thing is, is that you have a lot of veggies with low sugar content. Low carb content, high flavor content. Full of fiber and minerals and vitamins, all kinds of goodness. So I've got everything in my pot. I'm gonna get this on the stove and we're just gonna cook it until all of the vegetables are nice and soft and we'll season it to taste and then that's dinner. And like I said, anything that's left over, we're just gonna keep it in the fridge. And anytime I'm hungry, I'm just gonna warm up a small bowl over the next few days. And if you find that you're struggling to lose a few pounds, make some peel a pound soup, stick it in the fridge, and just nibble on that over. You'll see a difference on the scale. So let's get this on the stove. <laughs> 